Hey guys, it's uh, Jake from Web Design Weekly. I uh, just wanted to quickly show you how to, how, how I deploy. Um, so I like to buy a GitHub. Um, I was using a service called Beanstalk, but um, now I've gone for this workflow and it seems to be pretty awesome. I'll quickly show you how I, I do it uh, on Web Design Weekly, then I'll quickly show you how to set it up. Um, so basically, I thought of, um, I'll quickly modify the footer, just down here, um, and then we'll push it to GitHub, and then pull it onto the server, and we'll push it live, um, and then, so, yeah, show you guys how to do it. So this is the footer, down the bottom, um, might just do the old trademark, so I've added the text, boom, so now... This is down here. Um, just go over to Tower. Um, I'm going to commit that file. Um, commit footer. And then I will um, push it up to GitHub. So if we go over to um, GitHub, we should see in a second that the footer, here we go. So I've tweaked the footer, that's pushed up to GitHub. Uh, if we go to Web Design Weekly, the live site, um, that is not there yet because we have to pull those changes onto the server. So head over to the, to the uh, terminal. Um, what I've done just before starting is I've logged on uh, into my server, SSH into the server, and then changed to the location where my theme is. Um, so here, um, I'm actually in the theme directory. What we want to do is we want to pull um, we want to pull the changes that I've just committed to GitHub. and pray you don't break anything, it's all pretty good. So what you can see here is there, there's been um, a couple of tweaks to the footer. So now, if I reload the live site, see down here, it all looks a bit wonky. So that's basically how I do it. I'm just gonna quickly revert that. Um, two seconds. Uh, commit, commit that go. Come on, it does it. Oh, I've got to do it. Um, here we go. Push this back up to GitHub. Then just once I've got the confirmation that that is up. I'll just quickly go over back to the terminal. There we go. So, basically, well, not basically. If I go, this is the live site, reload the live site. Hopefully, the footer is no longer broke. So, that's pretty cool. Um, all the Web Design Weekly files, they're all version, or the theme is version controlled. Um, I've had, I don't know, I find WordPress a bit funky when you're trying to sync between um, your local host and the live site. So that's what I really, that's what I um, use at the moment. Uh, it's awesome. Couldn't recommend it enough. So I thought I'd also just show you how I, how I do it in more sort of basic level. So GitHub create a repository, so say this is a demo theme, um, then we just initialize it, uh, then that will create in a second. We, what we want to do is we want to clone that down. You can do it in the Mac app. Um, actually, let's do it in the Mac app. So just click this button, we'll put it to the desktop,
so now if I just navigate to the desktop uh, there we've got the demo theme with the readme so if you can imagine this is your theme um, your actual theme uh, WordPress theme um, what, um, what I might do let's just make it as I'm going to just quickly do it uh, so here we go let's just make it copy all those back to the desktop so this is a demo theme it has it's a theme <laughs> so back to the um, github app I'm going to oh no sorry about that what's happening uh, oh that's why sorry guys wrong repository <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so now we're in the demo theme, added base theme files, commit those, sync the branch, so what that's doing is pushing all those files to GitHub. If we go back to GitHub in our demo theme repository, uh, hopefully it's still syncing but refresh this this should be the thing awesome here we go okay so then we have to go back to the server um, so we're in the terminal here we'll go down one level because I don't want to be in this theme and stuff the whole work so I'm weekly site so here we go you can see I've got a bunch of themes I've got to clean up a bit um, but what we want to do now is clone the github repository the demo theme to the server so we copy this one uh, git clone Okay, so I've cloned that now. So if we list the um, list the files in that directory, you can see here we've got the demo theme. Um, and then all you've got to do is um, change into that theme. Here we go, and then. Once you do changes back in the um, on your on your desktop, do change or not on your desktop. You do changes to those files. Um, you've just got to commit them, sync the branch. They'll be pushed to GitHub. Then all you've got to do is um, the command git pull. master and there you have it that's all you need to do um, yeah I hope you guys find find that uh, helpful um, I certainly think it's an awesome way to work um, yeah have a good one cheers